Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct a regular pentagon with side 32mm long. So the first thing you do when you see a question like this, you will draw your horizontal line this way. Right? So on that horizontal line, you need to measure 32mm. It can be any length. Can be a length of 70 but in this case we're having 32 millimeter so you take your rule and you measure 32 millimeter on your now this is my rule i'll pick a point saying this is point a right point a and i'll measure 32 so from here to this point here is what 32 right now this is my point what point b now in doing that i'm going to take my compass right and i'm going to gauge it between a and b as my radius you can see that then i'm going to draw a circle right i'll draw a circle this way if you're going to gauge it you draw a circle. Can you see that? So I place it at B, I draw a circle, I also place it at A and repeat the same thing with the same radius. So we have in this. Now straight line. Now we've got in A B. Now where this point cuts the two circle intersects i'll call that point point c and the other point here i'm going to call it point d and i'll rule a straight line that will pass through those two points c and b this way now have this you can see that now the next thing i'm going to do with the same radius i did not adjust it which is the same radius as what a b right i'll place it at d this point D here, and I'm going to draw another circle. Let's draw a circle, you might not complete the circle this way. Now, where the circle intersects one of the circle here, we'll call it point what? Point E, and where it connects with a vertical line, we'll call it point F. And when it cuts here, I should call it point what? Point G. All good. Now, I'm going to draw a straight line that will pass through E and F. And I'll touch at this circumference of the circle. So with E and F as my reference point, I'll draw a straight line this way. You can see that? Where the straight line cuts the other circumference of the circle, I'll call it H. I'll repeat the same fit between G and F as my reference point. I'll draw another line that will pass through G and F to touch the other side of the circumference of the circle, which is here. I'm going to call it I. Right? Now, the way it is this way, I will connect A and I with a thick line. See that, and also connect A and B with an electric line, and also H and B with an electric line. You can see that now with the same radius of AB, I'll place it at H, right? The same radius of what AB. This is that H. I'm going to draw an arc this way with the same radius. I'll place that I. I'll draw the same arc this way. So where the two meet, I'll call it point G. Right? Then I'll connect the point G this way.
point G. Now it means that my pentagon means a polygon with five sides, right? So I can say A B H G I is my pentagon, where A B is one side, B H is another side making two sides, H G is another side making three sides, J I is another side making four sides, and I A making another side. One, one thing you need to know is that what? The B H is equal to what? H J is equal to what? J I is equal to what? I A. So this is our pentagon. So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.